The Proud Home presents the 5 Best Sump Pumps. Let's get started with the list. Starting of our list at number 5. This is a pedestal pump, with an intake at the bottom of the stand and motor at the top. The pump is electrical, and runs off a standard 110 outlet. The cord is 8 feet long, and it heavy duty and rugged. The setup and install is easy and straightforward. There are a few details on the install to be aware of. PVC pipe is recommended for the discharge, and a vent hole should be drilled as the instructions describe to prevent air locks. It has a 3600 gallon per hour capacity. At number 4. Like many sump pumps, this one works best when submerged. This helps keep the pump cool and also prevents the pump from having an airlock or otherwise malfunctioning. The Wayne submersible pump has its intake on the top of the pump, to ensure the pump stays submerged and keeps the head pressure up. It is reliable and quiet, and has a stainless steel casing and cast iron base, both of which are resistant to rust. The Wayne submersible has a horsepower motor, and a flow capacity of 4600 gallons per hour. To see all this stuff check out the description underneath the video. And click the link in the description below to see user reviews and prices on Amazon. Halfway of our list at number 3. The Zolar Flowmate is a powerful pump that has a 72 gallon per minute flow rate with a 5 foot head. It is made of strong and durable cast iron, with no sheet metal parts that will rust and corrode. The cast iron is painted with a water resistant epoxy to keep the pump in working order. The pump has to be submerged in water to prevent it from overheating, which is a usual requirement for sump pumps. It is made to pass solids, and has no meshes or filters to clog or change. Zolar pumps are made in the USA. At number 2. This pump is rated for continuous use, so it can pump and pump and not have any problems. The intake is at the lowest part of the pump, allowing the pump to work in any depth down to 1 by 8 inch of water. There is a wire mesh across the intake that will prevent anything too large from entering. Anything that is small enough to get through the mesh will pass through the pump without a problem. The discharge is 1.25 inches wide, but the pump comes with an adapter so that it is possible to use a regular garden hose. And coming in at number 1 of our list. This is a small pump, and it works great for small jobs. Users advise that the little giant be placed below whatever you wish to pump out, as the small motor isn't made to overcome big drops and a little help from gravity improves performance and lifespan. The little giant has a manual on or off switch, as well as an automatic float arm switch. This pump is electrical and plugs into a standard household outlet. To see all this stuff check out the description underneath the video and click the link in the description below to see user reviews and prices on Amazon. Thanks for watching our video. For more, subscribe to our channel.